Hi and welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get ready. It's my sister's birthday. Well, yesterday was my sister's birthday. Today we are celebrating her birthday. We're going to go out to lunch. And so let's get ready. I'm going to film a couple of videos today. Um, one is the long awaited swatch of the kimchi Trixie collab products that I have. But first let's put a face on. We're gonna start with the Laneige Ultraviolet, no, Pure Violet Glory Skin Veil Base. It is SPF 25. I have my SPF 50 on underneath. I think I got too much. That's okay, we're gonna make it work. Um, and it is like a color corrector skin base. And let me show you what I do when I get too much of either a skincare or something like that. I'll show you what I do real quick. I have a cool brush that I use to pick up, but also blend in. If I've got just a smidge too much, it's not so much that I need to like wipe it off, but I do need a little bit of help distributing. This is a Kiko brush. It's a it has a rose shape on one side, and it's got a really cool. Um, angled brush on the other but it just it helps now like 14 days ago I used glitter and I still have glitter particles oh you know how it is <laughs> you use glitter once and it's everywhere it's the gift that keeps on giving glitter okay so I'm gonna use uh I'm gonna give it a whirl so I've pulled some stuff from um kind of I'm just everywhere starting to kind of go through old Durr foundations and seeing whether or not I like them. This is one of them that I have, but anyway, it's a thing. This is the Ordinary High Coverage Foundation. It is in the shade 1.1P. And I don't know if this color is right, so we're going to give it a whirl and hope that we don't look crazy. We probably will, but let's give it a whirl. So this is, I know it's a runny Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe that's the serum one. Okay, it sort of runs. It looks way peach. Uh, let's go ahead and do our LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment in there. We'll do one pump and then see how we do. I know that's too peachy. <laughs> so let's see if we can kind of neutralize the warmth with the blue. That's a bit better. Okay, that's better. We're getting there. This is supposedly that really high coverage one, so I don't know how much to use. I've only got, I got like one and a half pumps and then one pump. So let's see. Let's just, let's just get some on our face and let's go from there. Okay, brush would be good. <laughs> So the blue did get quite a bit of that extra warmth that I did not need out, or it neutralized it, which is nice. That's what I want. Okay. It's not a dead on, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. wearing my Hello Kitty shirt today because I feel like it. Found my hidden stash of yoga pants. <laughs> so I'm wearing those today. <laughs> I found my yoga pants at Old Navy and love them. I just, not that I do yoga in them, but uh, just black, you know, yoga pants that are comfortable, that stay black, don't seem to pill. Um, I like them very much, so that's where I get my yoga pants from. And 
I do really well with Old Navy Plus sizes. Especially here recently, they've done a, a good job of, I mean, I like how they offer everything in the women's section in a plus size that it's the whole range. And I appreciate that. It's, it makes me happy. Okay, we're getting there. This is gonna be a slow video, by the way. We're not in a hurry. I haven't taken my time with makeup at all this week. I've gotten ready by my computer three days this week. I mean, just slamming it on and getting to my first meeting. It's been crazy at work, which I say every week, but it's true. And it has been tough. All right, so let's take our handy dandy damp makeup sponge and just press that in. That's actually not bad as far as well, it's really nice as far as coverage goes, but the color that we've managed to get, I do, I mean, I highly recommend if you struggle with undertones, if you if you have a hard time, you know, shade matching, I have the blue and the white. They're, they're pretty inexpensive. I can't remember how much they are, but I have, I have both of these. Uh, they are great. They don't seem to really impact coverage or formula they I, you know I haven't had them not be able to mix in and they have allowed me to use so many more of my foundations confidently like it it's much better match if I just get a pump of blue or a pump of white or even a couple or one of each and all of a sudden I'm able to really feel comfortable in my base makeup and I highly recommend it. It looks, this looks really nice. So yeah, there's that 1.1 P, two peachy for mama. That might be what the P stands for. I don't know. And <laughs> so a pump of blue gets her done. I think that's really nice. It is pretty high coverage. It's not, I mean, I didn't get a hundred percent, but then again, I, I mean, I didn't like really pile it up, but I still have some on there. Let's get just a little, I mean, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more right here. I don't know. Let's try. There we go. Okay. I think it looks good. All right. Let's get that cleaned up before I get it everywhere. All right, so maybe not a pump and a half, maybe only one pump of that. I say, I say this so that hopefully myself can remember the next time I use this foundation, uh, which I think if it wears as well as others, I, I think I'll be happy to use it. Now it has, so this Ordinary Foundation has a pump on it. Does that lock it? Okay, so you turn it and it locks. Okay, it's plastic bottle, pretty inexpensive, I, I think I remember. So that's nice, that was a, that's a win for me. I like that a lot. This was, by the way, a Beauty Bay foundation brush. Just a round top kabuki style. Really inexpensive there as well. And let's get the spatulator cleaned off that we stirred with. And let's go for in mm, under eyes. Let's use our Age Rewind from Maybelline. This is the shade Brightener. And it's real pinky, and that's how it brightens. And I love it. I've used this for you. I've used up several of these um, over the span of the years I've been wearing makeup. And I like it. I'm just going to turn my little sponge and tap that in. Right? <laughs> looks great. I'm going to do um, another look with the Trixie and Kimchi palette. I'll use the brush and the, the blush and the highlighter as well today. But I'm going to do a pink look today. 
and I used the neutral shades or the natural shades in the palette the first time I used it because I had to go down to work. But I'm going to use the pink. We'll go glittery and all that. So for the base of that, I'm going to use my P. Louise Pro Base in, or Base Pro. I'm going to use 0 0.5, which is one step up from white with just the slightest bit of peachy pink, you know, beige in it. 1.0 is just about my skin tone. So zero is white, 0 0.5 is between, 1.0 is really my skin tone uh, shade of this. I have all three and I've been using the 0 0.5 if I'm using any kind of lighter shade that I, you know, I really want to make sure has a good base to pop and things like that. If I want, if I'm going to do like an all pastel or um, I'll use the white base underneath. This is just going to be, it's not going to be a pastel look, but it'll be a pinky look. And I love this base. I will never need to purchase another brand of eye base in my life. This is... I have Painterly. I have all kinds of eyeshadow primers, and they work well. This has been my favorite so far. The coverage, the longevity of it, the price point. This is this is an ounce. This is thirty mils. I will never run out. But it is. It's such a good product, and I really like P. Louise's company values. Her the way she does things. Some people might find it a bit saccharine. I don't. I really like it. And so I am going to uh, use it. Okay, let me, I'm going to set that real quick with just a cream matte shade. Just so that we don't crease right there. I have a pretty good hooded eye. So I will crease right in the center if I don't set it. Okay, there's that on word. Now, let's set the old face and then we'll move to eyes. Itching everywhere, you know what that means. All right, let's set underneath the eyes with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder stuff, under eye, whatever, whatever. I use like this little triangle puff that I got from Shein. And it works for, I got like a pack of them for super cheap. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. Okay, there's that. The rest of the face, I kind of want to set with the Laura Mercier. Let's do, this. no, Laura Geller, the other Laura. This is the Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation in Porcelain. I can also use it in Fair. But it's a real nice setting powder. If you just use a fluffier brush, it does have a sheen to it. And I like a sheen on my face. Okay, there she is. Next up, let's get our brows done. We're going to use a real simple product. <clears throat> this is the iMethod Beauty Grooming and Volumizing Brow Gel. It's a little tiny spoolie. This is in 04. And I've just been enjoying slapping this on. It takes care of hold. It takes care of pigment and filling in sparse areas. The tint, all of it. I like it a lot. That is available on Amazon. There's a link down below in my description box. Oh my goodness. Well, we got a lot on there, didn't we? I think I got a pocket. Hold on. Hold on. You just wait right there. I'll show you what we're going to do. And there we go. 
use the excess on our brushes. Okay. Beautiful. Love that. All right. Let's use, <laughs> let's use another kimchi product. This is the Thaler Contour in 04. This is the one, this is Coco. Yeah, Coco Coco is her name. So this one came out in the second set of bronzer contour releases that she did. So I have, and I've got these swatched. This one is fierce. So watch out. This is a contour. I use all of my bronzer contour shades in the same manner, in the same placement on my face. I use it to warm up my face. And I will, this one's dark, so Hank, well, I'll show you what we do. I have really fair skin, but I can use all of Kim's bronzers and contours in different ways and I like them all they are very pigmented they are beautiful products they blend out beautifully it is I mean it's just gorgeous so this is the 04 this is the darkest one that she has and it's got uh I've got swatches of all of them so if you want to go take a look at all those they're just search my channel I also have a kimchi playlist. So there's the contour. Now, this is the new blush with Trixie. Uh, so this is the kimchi Trixie blush in pink era. I swirled them together and they work really well together. We're gonna e-girl blush today. And I will blend this in just a second, too. Okay. Now, I'm going to... This one's beautiful. And I like it a lot. It is a true pinky one. She's got some shades that are similar to this one. And I think on my other video I'll show you um but there are some that are there's one specifically that I'm thinking about nope I'll find it don't worry is it pinky it is pinky this is the new one this is pinky see how it's pinkier it's brighter it's poppier uh, that's the best one I'll swatch those on my uh video where I swatch everything, but like, this is a super punchy kind of pink blush. And I like it. All right, I'm going to take my sponge and get any excess and blend it in. This damp sponge works like a dream for all kinds of things. I mean, I think it looks really cute. I really do. I like that a lot. It is warm and bronzy and pinky and beautiful. Now, this highlighter in Double Diamonds is double-sided. And we'll compare it to the other highlighters that I have in the, in the swatch video. I'm, I used my fan brush with it the last time, and I don't think that that's the best way to go. So I'm going to get a concentrated not concentrated, smaller footprint, and really yeah, Ooh, there's a loose bristle. Get out of there. And now let's, let's just 
yeah, see when I buff that in, as opposed to fluff it over, now we're talking. See? Now we're talking. I'm using both sides together. You don't have to, but now that's more, that's the impact that I would expect. <laughs> this is not a natural makeup look, y'all. We're not going for natural. That's really pretty. It's beautiful. I wouldn't recommend like a fan brush if that's normally your method. That's normally my method of using a highlighter. I don't, <clears throat> I don't think it does a great job of picking it up. But now we've got, now we're cooking with grease. Now we're cooking with grease. Okay, beautiful. Let me spray and then we will start some eyes. I'm gonna use the Save by the Bell Wanna Wrestle. Wet and Wild Setting Spray. Cause it's the one I'm using up. I find that if I don't concentrate myself on a setting spray, I use them all, which is not a bad thing. It's, it's just me. I have way too many. Like that whole, look at how many I still have over there. All the sprays in the back, so many. It's a, it's a terrible, lovely problem to have, but I don't want that many. So I'm trying to get through the ones that I have. And the way that I do that is, is like saying, this is the one I am using up so that I make sure that I'm using it every day. If I wanna use a different one on a different day, of course I can, I'm grown up. Like as much, as I can enjoy my stuff the way that I want. And one of the ways that I want is to kind of go through some of the products that I have that I'm, I'm focusing on using up. So itching, 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 itching. Get wished a little, little wet. Okay, let's look at eyes. So when we are talking pink in the new Trixie and Kimchi palette, We've got a couple of options and there's there's one, I, I swatched this out this morning and I think we're gonna go bright pink and we're definitely gonna use this glitter because it's absolutely stunningly beautiful. It's kind of a multi reflect glitter and I think it's gorgeous. This shade is too something for, for me. So I like this one and this one and I was missing I was missing a middle shade, in my opinion. So I pulled my you, you Make Me Happy Kimchi palette, which is stunning. And it's this shade here that I want to use. So we're going to kind of combo just so that I get the exact look that I want today. Um, it's not that there aren't enough shades in this. It's just the, the exact shade that I want is a little bit different than what I'm seeing. And... I'm gonna use a little bit of the blush to get me started. The lighter half of this blush, these are matte. Um, and so I want to use a little bit of a light pink in my upper transition before I get that darker matte pink on. You could always use your blush or your bronzer in your makeup look. In fact, when I do my makeup down by my computer, um, I have just a makeup bag with um, very few products in it. Like I don't, I don't have a choice, uh, much of a choice down there of what I use. One of the things that I do have is a face palette from NARS. So there's three different blushes, a highlighter and a bronzer in that face palette. I use that bronzer in my crease uh, all the time. <laughs> I use one of the blushes all the time because, and that highlighter can be a lid shade anytime I want. The, you can, any powder product can go anywhere on your face. I just, that's, I needed just a little bit of a, a lighter pink matte that I don't have in this palette because the pinks, you've got this bright pink and then you've got this, this fuchsia magenta. So, and these are matte, this, this column here is matte. Um, but it's, I don't have a light, light pink. So now I do. And so I'm going to go into the sweet tart, which is the real bright pink shade. And I'm going to start on the outer corner and get it into the crease. This is, I am going in public uh, for my sister's birthday, so I don't necessarily 
want to be insanely crazy looking. Uh, but I also am going to be myself. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with a pink look, but I want, I want y'all to see kind of how, I don't like the word wearable. And the reason why I don't like the word wearable and folks are like, oh, this is wearable makeup. Is this wearable? Of course it's wearable. Put it on your face. Now you're wearing it. <laughs> that's, that's my, that's my opinion on colors and textures and you can wear anything. Of course it's wearable. But for some folks, what they mean is, is, is it socially acceptable in the location where they're going or the people that they're with or the function they're attending or their work or you know, something like that. That's really what they mean. And I get it. I mean, I, I do get it. It's because some things, you know, I'll say I have to go to work, so I don't want to, you know, have glitter up to my brow, even though I've worn glitter up to my brow to work several times. Uh, but it's, you know, I'm, I'm looking for some restraint when it comes to colors or textures that I'm wearing. I say textures because that's what I mean by like glitter versus like a matte look or something like that. So it is, I get it when folks are, is it wearable? I don't want my sister to, I mean, she, she she's probably watching this video right now. Um, happy birthday, dear. I, I, you know, some folks get, I don't know, weird about, <laughs> and I'm sure she wouldn't care what I looked like. But some people would. So when I say, like, I'm, you know, I am going to go to lunch. I don't want to look like I got off of stage at Las Vegas. But I, if it's me and my husband, Mr. Mugwump, he really doesn't care. So he'll go with me looking like I got off of stage at Las Vegas right now. Yoga pants and drag makeup. It's fine. All right. So I've gone really light with the Sweet Tart Shade. And I've taken my time so that I'm not putting on, depositing a lot of pigment that I can't blend out. And I think that is a beautiful blend. It is light. I want, I'm super fair, y'all. Like the second that I go into these, um, we're, we're talking, it's, there's a lot of pigment. And so I want to be careful with how much I'm depositing. I'm also using a fluffy brush as opposed to a very, really, a uh, dense packer brush because I don't want to pack this pigment. I want to fluff this pigment. This is that magenta shade down at the bottom, Dahlia. And I'm just putting that on my outer third of my lid. This is not going to be a dark look. This is going to be just a bright, happy pink look. And that blends beautifully as well. One one shadow brush. That's that's how we like it here because we don't wash them anyway. Okay, we're gonna sit this down. Let's get the pink out of the "You Make Me Happy" palette. <clears throat> There's some other pinks in here as well, um, matte pinks. But I wanted to use the ones from the new palette. But this is why I wanted a light, pastelly, metallic shimmer pink to go underneath the glitter that I'm going to put on right over top of it. So many times you will see me use a glitter and I want, so I want a base for it. And some glitters kind of come with a base, like meaning that they have pigment with them. I don't know if this one does or not because I haven't used it before. <laughs> so I want to make sure that there's something underneath it besides like bare lid and the little bit of pink pigment that's been deposited on my lid from blending in my crease. Okay, that's that's that that would be a beautiful look right there. That's it. If you have not, this palette is everything. I'll show you just a couple of quick swatches of what I like this palette for, um, just so that you have. And I this is the you make me happy palette. Okay, there's beautiful mattes, but these are the one. These this these. It's absolutely stunning. Just the most beautiful. That is a white duochrome right there. That's shining one. Crazy. So highly recommend that palette if you haven't checked it out. Um, I love it so much. Kimchi can do no wrong in my book as far as eyeshadow goes. 
and I'm not wrong. So fight me. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's let's get the the uh, glitter. It's called Let Them Eat Cake. It's boop, this one right here. I don't use a glitter glue. I simply apply with my finger. I tap on and slightly. I don't want to say tug, but I slightly move my hand so that the glitter is deposited, I guess is the best way to describe it. I've got a little bit of fallout. It might be because I had, this one's a real soft glitter, like a, a real soft glitter in the pan, but it's beautiful. Let them eat cake. Look at that. We've used two other glitters in this palette already. We've used a la mode here and then the cinnamon sugar there. That was the other look that I did. If you don't like glitter, this is not the palette for you, y'all. There's plenty of other uh, kimchi palettes with no glitter in it, including the You Make Me Happy palette. Um, this is this is not the palette for you if you don't like glitters, but I love glitters and I love kimchi's glitters. Um, it, I used to hate them. I promise you, if you look at some of my videos, um, from earlier in my channel, when ColourPop palette had a, a glitter in it, I was so mad. Um, I don't hate them anymore. I found out how to take them off. One of y'all told me, piece of scotch tape over your eye at, right before you cleanse. It takes, takes, I don't know, 85% of the glitter off and it's wonderful. Look at that. Look at that. There's bigger chunks in this glitter and smaller pieces. But this is a glitter heavy palette and it's absolutely stunning. Okay, there is that. Let's do some liner. This is just a really slow video. <laughs> I have had this for a very long time. This is the Kat Von D Super Pomade in Roxy Purple. And I've yet to use it. And so I pulled it out. It is, I believe, an eyebrow pomade. I'm going to try it as an eyeliner today. Why not? Why not? Let's get a little angled brush. This one will do. The baby angle brush. And let's, let's see how she does. Oh, I need a, probably need a little mirror here. A bloop. Not a bad job of going over the glitter. Sometimes uh, eyeliners, or it's not really an eyeliner, but we're using it as such, because why not? Um, sometimes they have a hard time going over glitter, but this one doesn't seem to be having a problem. I got this to do my eyebrows when I was purple all over, and I, th I think it just fell in a drawer and I never, I didn't, I just found it. Just FYI, I've made an executive decision to film book hauls on TikTok. So my name is Makeup Mug Bump over there, even though it's not a book name, but whatever. That's just so y'all can find me. Um, and so I have a pretty good book haul from yesterday that I'm gonna film today, so go check me out on the TikTok. I am not gonna be able to do like makeup videos over there and stuff like that. That is, there's not enough time. I enjoy really long and rambly makeup videos over here on the tube. <laughs> so <laughs> I will be continuing to do that. 
But if you like books and you want to see what I've got picked up recently to read or check it out. I did film a real quick film. I just, it's TikTok. Um, I had a, uh, I, have a, I have a TikTok on my library, like a quick library tour, panoramic library tour um, of the library in my house. And so if you want to, if you're just curious, go over there and check that out. Okay. I, I like how poppy that eyeliner is, is what, that's really not an eyeliner. And I'm hoping that it stays like one. I just wanted to try it as an eyeliner today. So there we go. It does look bright and pink and I like that purple and I like that. Let's lash and then we will uh, lip. I moved a couple of things around on my vanity and I don't think that I like where my eyelash curler is. I've just decided. There's some glitter in my eyelashes. Delightful. And let's see what we're going to use for, mm, let's use Mac Stack today for lashes. Because I feel like it. I have a Tarte Lights Camera Flashes or Lashes, one of those two, um, down by my computer. Do you know how long it's been since I've used that mascara? That mascara I had not used in years. And uh, it's actually quite good. I'd forgotten how good it was, but it was one that I had from, who knows? It hadn't been opened, and so I chucked it in that bag, that makeup bag to use. It's great. I just, I'd just forgotten, because so many things have come out since that was a thing, but I think they still sell it. And So dig that out of your mascara drawer if you hadn't recently. I love this Mac Stack mascara. I just do. It's one of the more expensive mascaras that are actually worth it. Their Giga Black Extended Lash, the little tiny one, also worth it. Man, that's a good mascara. And a good wand. Keep the wand after you use the mascara on the Giga Black, and you will not be disappointed in yourself. I keep wands that I like so that... If I don't like a wand, I can make it work. This is, this channel is just like a, a Tim Gunn make it work channel. I mean, like we just, we ain't gonna throw nothing away if we can make it work. I think that's part of what I enjoy is taking the time and the energy to use my products and to find ways to make them work. I don't know. Some people don't like that. Some people are like, if it doesn't work for me the first time, there's too many good stuff out there that I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not. And that's cool. That's fine. Do you, babe? I just enjoy, I think, the challenge and makes me happy. All right. Mascara done. That's really cute. Okay, let's use... Uh, the lip product one more time. This is in Spice Cake. This is a liquid lipstick. Aren't they, aren't they adorable? The little mirror, mirror that pops off of this one. Um, so this is a liquid lipstick. It's peachy and a nude. They had many colors. In the release. This was the one that I chose because I knew I would get a lot of use out of it. And I actually really like, I like this formula. So it works for me. There it is. This is the, it's their, the part of the collab for Trixie and Kim. And that's the look, y'all. I gotta go do my bangs and stuff, but, so don't judge that. But check it out. Oops. It's a, whoa. Just don't. Like, don't even, don't, but don't. We're bang training, okay? We're bang training. So anyway, we're gonna get, <laughs> we're gonna get cute in a little while. Go check out the swatch video and go see what it looks like when my bang's done. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you how much fun I have with y'all on the internet. Let me know what you're doing this weekend down below and uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.